Hello, my name is Alexey Lapkin. I'm a professor of sustainable reaction engineering at the University of Cambridge. In this short presentation, I would like to show you how chemical industry and chemical engineering research, as well as education, are rapidly changing with the advances in computer technology and artificial intelligence. Very briefly, what chemical industry is undergoing today is a radical transformation towards digital research and development and towards fully digital manufacturing. This means that the engineers and researchers of tomorrow will need to be fully versed in the new digital tools. When I speak of artificial intelligence, I mean a combination of such topics as tools of big data, when we work with large data sets, machine learning algorithms that help us to identify patterns in data, and then find the most suitable model to describe the data, different AI algorithms from the fields of reasoning, model interpretation, model identification, and so on. And more narrowly, such tools as active learning, when algorithms iteratively formulate and test hypotheses. To visualize digital transformation of our industry, I will use a recent work by my colleague, Professor Marcus Kraft, on decarbonization of energy through digitalization and artificial intelligence. In this review paper, he has shown the emergence of a fully digitized energy system with interconnected devices that generate and use energy, and many algorithms that can ensure most efficient user generation of energy, seeking synergies between multiple devices and multiple users of energy. By carefully analyzing the potential of different technologies to decarbonize energy production, they found that by transforming energy industry into a fully digital system with real-time optimization by AI, an additional 50% of carbon emissions could be saved, which is shown in this diagram with the numbers for the uh, abatement potential of different technologies. So if digitalization is promising to radically increase efficiency of energy industry, could it also be as useful in the manufacture of molecules? Chemistry is ubiquitous and affects all aspects of life. It also contributes to many of the sustainable development goals, from improving food production and storage to reducing the demand for land use, freeing it for maintaining biodiversity. Digital transformation of chemical industry affects everything in molecular sciences and technologies, from early development of molecules and chemical reactions, to developing methods of separating molecules, to scale up and to final manufacture. In the context of chemical engineering curriculum, how we predict properties of molecules and materials, how we design and optimize plants and how we operate them is all changing very rapidly we see the emergence of a new discipline, digital molecular technology. I will give you only a couple of examples of the use of AI in chemical engineering research. We are asking questions about discovery of new molecules and materials facilitated by AI algorithms. For example, I have shown here an illustration of how data on organic reactions is connected in the so-called stochastic block model is the picture on the right top. We use this model to predict the unknown reactions between known molecules. We are working on reducing the time and cost of reaction development. And here I've shown an image of one of our experimental synthesis robots. It's assembled from multiple commercial instruments, then fully automated and linked together via an active learning algorithm. The algorithm looks at the results of past experiments formulates a hypothesis for a new experiment and conducts it autonomously until it reaches the predefined objective. We are also looking at how to scale processes faster using data generated by robots and AI-based models and how to predict that new molecules and processes will ultimately be sustainable. A Cambridge research effort on digitalization of chemistry is very significant and chemical engineering department plays a key role in driving it. We are part of Syntex Center for Doctoral Training and we lead in the new Innovation Center in Digital Molecular Technologies. Look at their sites and reach out to me directly if you would like to find out more.